so the first video has been uploaded and I'm ready to continue on this build. So uh, as I predicted, I got some, uh, at least so far, one thumb down on my video because, <gasps> gasp, I made a mistake. Um, since I have your attention, um, you know, I, I, I saw this, this one video of a guy who just gave up because he had gotten some thumbs down on his modeling videos. And he got really pissed off and uh, worked up over it and such. And uh, uh, he gave up on uploading his stuff, which is really unfortunate because, um, you know, he, he had something to offer. So, you know, I'll, I'll say this again. If you are the type of person who will thumb down a video just because you see somebody making a mistake or something, you know, you don't really understand what... Uh, the thumb down is for really. If you see something in poor taste, or just something just puerile, or something that's you know video that's just trolling people or whatever, um, you know if if you see Rick Ashley pop up on a, a video that you you thought is going to be something completely unrelated, go ahead and thumb down that video, you know. But uh, if you see somebody who is trying to uh, share an experience with people, then you know, that's something completely different. You learn from other people's mistakes, and just like uh, you know, my my video, my my channel is not a modeling channel. Just FYI, um, I've never claimed that this is a modeling channel, even though this seems to be most of the videos I upload. Uh, I started out actually just doing like uh, video games and stuff, but I guess my my um, uh, my tastes have kind of changed since then, I guess. But um, Anyhow, yeah, you know, it's just like, uh, for example, I, I had uploaded that the thing about that interesting fish that I had found in a, at the aquarium. I am really into marine life, marine biology kind of stuff. You know, I, I'm into um, like anthropology and, and whatnot. So there, there's there's a lot of uh, nerdy uh, pursuits that I enjoy. And, uh, you know, obviously somebody thumbed down, or two people so far have thumbed down that video just because it's, obviously it's not about modeling, I, I, I assume. And, uh, it's just pretty, pretty pathetic that, that people would, uh, would do that. I just, I don't know. I, I don't get it. So, um, you know, if you're like that, just go ahead and unsubscribe because, um, you're just kind of a, kind of a tool, I guess. And, um, yeah, don't have patience for people like that. Um, the, the fact that, that people would, uh, thumb down a video just because it's not modeling related or something rather, that's, that's pretty stupid. You know, there, there's one guy who does, uh, great model builds and such, but he also does reviews of, like, lawnmowers and stuff. Um, you know, I don't even have a lawn in which to mow. So obviously that those videos do not apply to me, and um, it doesn't really uh, you know has nothing to do with with what I'm interested in. So I just don't click on those videos. It's just you know it doesn't really affect me at all. So you know why bother? Now if I was to um, go on his videos and thumb down whenever he does a uh, a video of like a leaf blower or a lawnmower or you know any sort of yard tool or whatever um, that would be me arrogantly uh, dictating to him how he needs to run his channel and uh, that would be pretty crappy now you're, you there's there's plenty of modeling channels to look at you know my channel is pretty humble I don't really uh, profess to be, be an expert at this hobby at all. I, n I never have. I'm here. Uh, I've, I've become better at modeling because I started this, uh, you know, doing builds on YouTube and having people uh, give me advice and such. The, inform the you know, the, the sharing of information is, is what I'm really interested in. And uh, just getting to, to meet some, some nice people and such. So that's what's important to me. And if that's not important to you, then go ahead and find another channel. There's plenty of them out there. Um, there's different styles. You know that you'll see videos of people who you're just looking at some guy's face and he's telling you what he's already done. Um, there are some videos where there's nobody talking at all, and you just see like uh, still pictures and, and whatnot. 
Um, so uh, there's there, there's those, there's some videos that you know they they uh, there's 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 some modeling channels where you watch their videos and you get like some some dramatic or orchestral music and it makes you feel like um, um, you know, like like some sort of movie you're watching and it's getting all excited like Keanu Reeves is running for his life or something rather and it's just, to me and you know whatever I mean if people like that that's cool but you know it's it's just plastic models I I can't get that excited over something like that so um, I'm not criticizing the people who who build those videos but obviously they have their their target audience. And if you're into that, then, you know, that's great. If you're expecting to watch a video where people don't make mistakes, then really you're, you're missing out, unfortunately. Because uh, if you watch other people making mistakes, then you can learn from other people's mistakes. So, anyhow, that's, that's my soapbox rant. So, um, I just don't care how many subscribers I have. I, I just don't care, really. So, um, if, if you're a dickhead, then, uh, you can, you know, just get lost, because I don't care. So, I know some people, they have the ratings disabled on the videos, and, um, I can understand why, because maybe they get upset with, uh, with people like who I'm addressing right now. But, um, you know, I don't know. I, I kind of like the interactivity of it all. So, the, the worst is, is when people, they don't have any way of, uh, you know, the, their, their videos, you can't comment on their videos whatsoever. That the comments are completely disabled. And uh, I saw this one guy's video, uh, modeling channel, and, you know, he had some good stuff, but, you know, with no way of being able to communicate with the guy, I just thought that was kind of, um, you know, just kind of put, put me off, I guess. So, how the crap is this supposed to go on here? This seems to fit this way, but on this side, it's a bit strange. This is bizarre. How am I supposed to do this? I can't remember if this fit on well. <laughs> On the one I had already made or not, I'm going to pause this and go take a look at the one I've already built to see how that one fit together. Okay, i got to figure it out. So these, this, this kind of just fits snugly into here. It's not supposed to protrude at all. I had it backwards. So all I have to do is just uh, smear a whole bunch of glue on this guy on the back here. Smear glue all over this guy's butt. So you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not bitter or anything. It's just that uh, it's dumb. Some people they just um, I don't understand some uh, behavior of people really. And uh, I can see what countries that these people are coming from too. Actually, with the analytics, it's kind of interesting. But um, anyhow. Uh, I just enjoy reaching out to people with uh, whatever I'm doing, and if people are interested, then, you know, they're free to watch, but, uh, there we go, alright, I got plenty of glue on this thing now, let's slide this into here, there we go. So I think that the the testers is is uh, stronger than the Tamiya, I think, because at this point in the game, the the testers was already well, you know, solidifying this stuff together. But here, this is see, it's already kind of loose. Maybe I should have just used that uh, crappy testers stuff after all. find it. Where did I put it? Oh yeah, it's in here. Yeah, I might uh, I might want to redo some of this. Yeah, 
mess. It's falling apart. I'm just going to redo it with this thing here. I'll get back to you later. Now, some people have asked me about the different types of cement. You know, I use like regular tummy cement for just regular gluing jobs. The extra thin cement is if you want to get into like uh, tiny cracks like here. You want to get into the, the, the tight cracks but without making a mess. It will run into the cracks a lot easier. More easily, I should say. And unfortunately, I'm running out of this stuff. Oh gosh, I just dropped a bunch. But that's okay. Let me get a paper towel. When you prime it, that's gonna go away, anyways. So all I have to do is just kind of um, file it down a little bit, and I need to put some putty or something in here. That's something I certainly did not know about when I first started that uh, the old kit, the the ADAT kit that I had done ten years ago. I had no idea about filling gaps and such, so. Okay, I'm just going to let this uh, sit for a while and let it um, solidify. There. Okay, the next step is to put this into place. You can see there's little guides in here. And uh, just stick this in between there. There. It's into place. That's pretty easy. Okay. Alright, so what I'm doing now, got some uh, Tommy a Putty, thinned it down a little bit slightly with uh, lacquer thinner, and I am setting about filling in the crappy cracks. And there's plenty of them here. So actually, I need to thin this out a little bit more. <laughs> so uh, the way that this uh, this model comes together um, it's really kind of weird I mean it doesn't really have any like a uh, um, like guide guiding pegs or whatever it just has like these little suggestions it's kind of strange so you just um, have to do the best you can and then fill in the cracks later. But you got this big ass holes. And I think I can t tackle this without having to resort to the epoxy putty. If I just get enough of that in there. See, there we go. I filled it in. And just paint it all along here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Okay, I'm just using plenty of acetone right now with a pointed swab. And I'm um, just going through and getting rid of the excess. That's kind of a kind of a chore. So, that just takes a while. But yeah, it's, it's um, smoothing out, getting rid of the stuff I don't want, and all the stuff in the, in the crack is remaining, so, yay. Okay, I'm going to go up the top here now, too. It takes a while. And uh, actually, what I could do first of all is use the file here to get the bulk of the crap out. But as you can see, still got a little bit of work to do down here. But it's looking a lot better. The, it has been patched pretty well. Let 
this looks okay, I guess, for the most part. <laughs> okay, so uh, I spent some time to uh, file this down. There was some weird, creepy looking lump that was going through here, and uh, I just uh, filed it down to nothing, so it looks, looks a lot better now. I think I'm mostly done with uh, the putty in here, so I'm going to maybe... Uh, Hold off and then see what it looks like after I do a quick primer and uh, see how even it looks. Because at the moment it's kind of hard to tell what it might look like. So after I put down a layer of primer, I should be able to tell how smooth this looks. <laughs> okay, yay. Hey, look, it's locator tabs. Gee, these, uh, these locator tabs would have been uh, convenient for the, the main body assembly, but, you know, whatever. Goofiness, huh? Very, very goofy. So, let's put some more on here. Okay. Yeah, these are, um, this is the underside part here. Where the legs go into. And then this is uh, gonna fall into here. There. There we go. Okay. Just need to file off the sides. I'll do the same thing for this part here too. There we go. Just to uh, file and sand off the, the excess, make it look rounder after the glue dries. Okay, so the way these go together are not perfectly clean. And you're going to get a parting line. It's kind of bad. Now, what I've done is uh, for the really, really bad parts, I've just kind of whittled it away with my X-Acto knife. And uh, then I have used a uh, nail file, or sorry, not, not a nail file, we'll just need you know, a regular file here, and uh, to get some of that out of there. I've also used this scriber to kind of reform these lines and such. They're not going to be totally perfect, but um, I mean, unless I'm a master sculptor, which I'm not. I'm not going to get these to be perfect looking. Uh, what well, all I can do is just kind of minimize the messy look. Yeah, that's probably the best I can do. And of course, having a sanding sponge to conform around the curved surfaces. This is a 400 grit. Cut some off, and I've just been sanding it like this here. So it kind of makes it look better. I'll have to prime it to see what it looks like after this, but hopefully it's going to look fairly good. At least on the big open spaces, I, I know I can make that look good. So, same here. I've just, just, just started on this. So, I whittled away with the X-Acto knife. Got a slightly, a little bit of flash there too. But, um, just kind of get that off of there. If you can feel it kind of like that, just smooth it out as best you can. And then go over it with the 400 grit, and hopefully it'll smooth it out. And then uh, maybe I might go up to 600 or, or something rather. And then uh, use the, the primer. So this is looking pretty bad. That, but see if you just go over this a little bit and already it's looking better There it's the best way I know how to do this. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll look better 
this piece is actually a lot easier. This is, you gotta scribe these little lines in here to make them look better again, but this, this one's not so bad. There's not as many of those little ridges. So I can see right here too. Gosh. It also helps to blow it all out too before priming it. Alright, so let's do this. Now, these are not really locator pins, but they're just kind of locator guides. Now, you'll notice here that like this will this will fit flush, and on the back here, it's you know there's a fit issue here. So it's, you're not gonna it's either gonna be against here or against here. So I'm gonna have it against the front part. So. Okay, so I have worked on this a bit this weekend, and I'm going to draw this video to a close here. And um, so, yeah, it looks like uh, the previous video, some uh, uh, some turd pickle in the United States who's an actual subscriber to me, and uh, some douche copter in Spain had voted me down as well, but uh, he is either not a subscriber or he uh, had the sense to unsubscribe from me so that makes me happy so uh, yeah you know what check this out it'd be pretty cool if like like the ad out would be like this you know and he'd be like all like you know like like he's kind of like hopping on like two legs or something and he'd be all so <laughs> that'd be pretty funny oh god no I'm so sorry no, please. Please, don't. No. No, see, if I do stuff like that, and people are going to... They're, they're, they're going to thumb down my videos. And, see, you know what? Um, I, I, I was bullied all the way up to through college. Um, and, like, so my self-esteem is dependent on the approval of others. And that's why I started this YouTube channel, is to get people to like me. So please, please, don't unsubscribe. Please, don't. Don't thumb down my videos, oh please, oh please, and 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 stuff and things and like um, also I I promise that I'll I'll be totally serious and I promise that I'll never make another mistake again and I, I promise that I I won't make any other videos that are like don't have anything to do with with uh, plastic modeling okay please please just 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 be nice to me okay please okay oh no I just made a mistake already. Oh God, uh, I, I was trying to, you know, like cut some plastic off and then look what happened. Oh, look at all the blood and, mm. oh, it tastes <clears throat> delicious and spicy. I bet it would go great on like stir fried eggplant and maybe like some, some raw spring rolls. Mmm. Oh, get this out of here. I'm sorry. But, ow, it hurts. Oh, I made a mistake. Oh, huh. Have you ever noticed that the Ebola virus looks just like a Mickey Mouse balloon? It's just proof that the Illuminati are behind it. Gosh, the evidence is right there in plain sight for anybody to see. It's the government. They want to distract us all. They don't want us to find out the truth about UFOs. It's a lot of bats flying around. Look at all these bats. Let's see if I can zoom in. There's like hundreds of bats flying around my, my neighborhood here. Can you see that? Let me zoom in. 
Look at all those bats. See, there's one. What the hell? They're all like, I'm Batman. And another one goes like, no, -uh, I'm Batman. And then it's like, oh, it was Batman first. No, -uh, mom said I'm Batman, so shut up. That's wild. That's a lot of bats. Like, you hear that? That's a, that's a, what they call bosozoku. It's like these little, these morons with tiny dicks. And these little weenie bikes that they, they run around in. Jim, 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 Jim,